if we're not, you know, giving people the human rights that they deserve, uh, can we really even call ourselves some sort of beacon for human rights or democracy at all? People do not go and ignite a bomb that's, atta that's attached to their own bodies just because of some inherent evil within themselves. There's always a driving force for that. There, I mean, whether it be economic hardship, low social rank, or I mean, occupation, combination of all those things, and we just, this tendency to just label people is what really alienates them and just does not help them to view America in a positive light. America only wants democracy when it fits into their game plan of oil or a strategic ally or the next air base. And I think until there's really an honest effort and or reassessment of some of those relationships that those double standards will still be pretty glaringly obvious to people from other countries. Perhaps the trouble we're having right now is that we have this abstract ideal there, but we can't exactly spread it to the rest of the world. We can improve education, we can improve infrastructure, we can improve goodwill among people, but we can't conjure democracy or freedom. It's not necessarily our place or our responsibility to spread democracy and our freedom to the rest of the world. I believe it's their choice, the people's choice to decide what it is they want, and if they need our help, to say, gain the freedom or democracy that we have, then it's their responsibility to ask of us for that help. But for us to just go out and spread it just because we believe it's right, in my opinion, isn't the right thing to do.